Last week, we launched our new five-year strategy. This is a strategy which shifts the balance of IID's work from research and knowledge generation towards a far greater level of practical engagement with a whole range of different actors and audiences at global, national and local levels. They could be government, they could be business, they could be local municipalities, or a whole range of citizen groups, of neighbourhood associations, of business groups. So we've, we very much want to make a difference in the world. We're building on our four main research themes, which are exploring the natural resource squeeze, building cities that work for people and the planet, addressing climate change, particularly issues of adaptation for the least developed countries, and designing sustainable markets. That's to say markets that can deliver good outcomes both for people and for the environment. So we build on this strong foundation of our four research themes. And from them, we've developed four cross-cutting change initiatives. These are focused bodies of work where we're seeking to make a real practical, tangible difference within the five-year period. The first of those is perhaps one of the most urgent and important global agendas, which is trying to ensure that we get an ambitious, fair, durable deal at the climate change conference due to be held at the end of next year, that's December 2015, COP21, to be hosted by the French government in Paris. That's really a key moment for everybody, or it ought to be a key moment for everybody globally, to focus their governments on making that deal. So that's one of the areas of work in which we're working across the organisation. A second one is on seeing how you can build green economies that really respond to the needs of the vast majority of people in many middle and low income countries. So green economies that not only bring carbon down in the economy, but also start to price in the value of the fundamental resources on which livelihoods depend. That's the soil, the water, the forests, that try and address issues of waste and of encouraging recycling circular economies. So green economies that are also resilient in the face of major and growing climate impacts. The third main cross-cutting change initiative is what we call the rights plus action change initiative. And here we're seeking to strengthen the rights which often exist on paper but are very rarely accessible in practice to hundreds of millions of landholders, of forest dwellers, of people like pastoralists who depend on common property resources, huge grazing lands. Their rights are very insecure in many parts of the world, partly because they're not written down on paper and partly because governments want to have the power to be able to take those resources from them should a more favourable um, bidder come along for reasons of political patronage in particular. So trying to secure rights for ordinary people in many countries of the world is a, is a key part of our agenda going forward. And fourth, we've got a change initiative which is looking at how we can change the narrative around the global food production problem, which is very often viewed as one in which we need to double production by 2050 or people will go hungry. And what we're saying is, in fact, there's more than enough food to feed people today, everybody on the earth today. It's not happening largely for reasons of politics and power. So rather than focusing on doubling production, why don't we look at some of the ways in which uh, redistribution of existing food supplies, changing the power balance, addressing overconsumption, 
as well as underconsumption, addressing issues like waste, as well as what kind of food production and marketing system would best deliver food security for people poor and rich. So those are the four research themes, those are the four change initiatives that we've got underway. We feel really confident that we can make a difference in the world. Our engagement with our stakeholders last week at our launch in London gave us a great sense of a shared common agenda and a huge amount of energy and commitment to working with IID. So we feel proud and confident of the direction that we're taking. But we also really love to listen and learn from others. So can I ask you, please, have a look at our strategy, read it through, identify things that you'd like to do together with us. And if there's something that you think we've not got quite right, then please let us know. But in any case, please get in touch. We'd like to work together.